exploration and engagement in STEM programming, science and technology and engineering and math. And of course, in an energy organization, we think the E also can stand for energy. Inspires and excites kids and it gives them those opportunities to explore and think about what they want to be and what they want to do when they grow up. And we like to think that it's unlocking that future genius and being able to tap that. By bringing this ESP program into our school, we are allowing our students to learn, to be teachers of the other students, and of their parents and of their communities and to really become leaders. And they are going to take this project that they create and they are going to take it back not just into one neighborhood or into one community, but into four school districts worth of neighborhoods and communities. There's a real need in the United States to get kids grades five through eighth excited about energy education and STEM related coursework. Our scores in the United States are lower than in most countries, and this program really helps get kids excited about energy and about STEM. As a company, there's an interest with our consumers and for our own needs uh, to, uh, to feed the system. That brings more and more students into our future employment, uh, but it's also important to the health of the community. Whether you're an engineer like myself or you're interested in science, understand the energy industry and the thing that you use every day, that it isn't just the flip of a light switch or the turn on of a stove, that there's a lot of work and a lot of interesting things that happen behind the scenes. And the more that our students can understand what energy is to them, the better they can use it more efficiently, more effectively, and help shape the, our energy policy into the future. You know, everybody tells us getting kids involved in middle school with STEM is a critical time. It's that fork in the road where they either get involved or they're excited about it or they're not. So we need to get there at that moment to make sure that they're looking at STEM as not just a viable opportunity for their excitement in their career, but a way if they really want to change the world. Getting involved in STEM and energy companies is a way to change the world. What makes this program truly special is that it allows students to meet and interact with the professionals that choose the paths that the students may be considering. Those interactions have the power to plant the seeds that grow into the engineers and scientists of tomorrow. A STEM education has the power to make students employable in sustainable careers. I kind of just thought, hey, we have a solar panel, we have a mobile phone. I know that everybody has a mobile phone, everybody has a mobile device. They're using up a lot of electricity. How can we make it better? Now the solar hat is a completely portable, make it yourself, all around charger device charger. They really let the students take charge. I've never seen such guidance and not directing. They let the students come up with the ideas, really, you know, implement them. So together it'll be $800, but you end up saving $3,550 to $5,000 each year. I think it will help me to be more energy efficient, and I think that saving energy is important for our planet and for other people. So he can say, okay, I want every room to be set at, let's say, 70 degrees. But then some rooms, even though there's a sensor there, the sensor might be next to uh, a wall that's cold, so it actually you know, thinks it's different temperature. That Hector knows, you know what, this room is always hot, so I'm going to bring the temperature down a little bit to make everybody comfortable. Remember to turn off your lights in an unoccupied room. It wastes so much energy. I like to save energy. I love STEM because I just love learning. I love discovering. I love creating. 